Game Studio. Welcome. Today we're going to show you how to set up layered music in Master Audio. First open the Audio Manager window, create a Master Audio prefab and any number of playlist controller prefabs. Each one can play a single music track. I made three. I'll set up a container here for them to drag them all in there. Just an empty game object. And we're going to name each of them. I'm going to have a bass track, a drum track, and a rhythm track. They each have to have their own unique name. Now let's go ahead and set up the playlist for each one. Those are just lists of songs. So here in the Master Audio Prefab, we create three playlists. Let's name them. Bass, drums, and guess what? Rhythm. Now we need to drag the audio clips into each one. We're going to use one clip each for now. I'm going to drag an extra variation into bass. You need to change the song transition type to synchronized to do what I'm going to show you. Synchronized clips. Now go ahead and select the starting playlist for each of the playlist controllers. Hit play. As soon as you hit play, you'll see a jukebox section for each playlist controller. There's a volume control for each one. Here the drums get quieter. And this fader will fade all playlist controllers. Let's turn it back up, turn drums back up. Let's change to a different clip here, it'll crossfade. Now crossfade back to bass. It keeps its position in the song because of synchronized clips. And here's one of the ways without writing any code you can tell Master Audio to play a different song in a playlist. We use an event sound script, pick an event, such as invisible. Action type is playlist control, tell it to play clip. Pick a playlist controller, and here's the name of the song. So whenever the player becomes invisible, it will change the song cross-fading to that. If you have any other questions, hit us on the forum. Thank you.